Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. Today we're not going to do a uh, mismatch Monday. We're actually going to do a game, a Stratomatic Computer baseball game from my alternate league, which I had set up, and I will put a uh, an end screen uh, connection to it just in case you're unaware of what I'm talking about. But anyway, I set up this custom league of my own, which I named the alternate league, and I have the White Sox in this league. No one in their right mind would bet against the Chicago White Sox. So let's take a look at the, um, at the league stats, the general overall league stats. You can see we're the White Sox and we're in the Central Division and we are 17 and 21 currently and nine and a half games out. We're not very good. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Um, so I don't know. This it, It's not going to be a mismatch Monday really though because we're playing Detroit and Detroit is last in our division. So we're both bad and we're only about a game better than them or uh, uh, a half a game or something a game and a half something like that better than uh, Detroit so it's not like you could really call this a mismatch Monday and we're not going to for that reason so anyway we're going to play the next game on the schedule um, and uh, let's see here so you can see it's uh, May 18th we're 17 and 21 and this is our game right here we're at Detroit now I want to point out too and I don't know if they're all going to play but this Detroit team now remember I had the draft done the draft was done randomly among the 18 teams in this league and yet this Detroit team ended up with Lance Parrish and Whitaker and Trammell I don't know how that, I mean, I don't even know, I don't want to even begin to try to figure out what the odds of that happening are. I mean, I ended up with Fisk on Chicago, and that's, you know, okay, that's kind of cool, but, uh, man, that's crazy. So anyway, uh, we're going to, um, we're going to uh, play day, and uh, this is going to be, um, the manual games or these other games are going to play automatically and then give it over to me to play the um, this game and you can see Detroit is the computer and he's going to have Narum I don't even know who Narum is going up against Robbie Ray pitching for us and um, I like that lineup I'm going to stick with that lineup so let's go underway with this game so there you go. There's Buster Norum. I, Narum. I don't know who that guy is. But anyway, we've got uh, Tim Anderson leading off and grounding to third. You can see we're at uh, old Detroit Detroit Tiger Stadium. And uh, Anderson grounded out and Oliva is up. Not having a great year, but right there he jacked one. Yeah. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. See this? This is my boot. Looks like that's going to be gone. Goodbye. So we've got a one nothing lead. And uh, Pete Alonzo is up. And uh, he he's a big power hitter for us. But right here he's just going to ground out to the uh, shortstop. And Ben Ogilvy is up. He has a lot of power, but he grounds out. So we got the one run on the home run, and now we got Robbie Ray going out there. Robbie Ray on the year is 4-1 and one with a 365 earned run average. So he's pitching well, but he walks Trammell to lead off the game. So Trammell is aboard. I am going to, it looks like maybe they're trying to bunt or try to do something crazy there, and they did. It looks like they probably tried to bunt. We got the out, and Trammell moves to second, and now you got Santo up. Uh, Ron Santo and he's going to ground out so there's two down and here we go here's Lance Parrish on Detroit and he's going to double in the run and tie the game <laughs> are you crying no are you crying are you crying there's no crying there's no crying in baseball all right, so 
anyway, it's a tie game, and Tony Armas is up, and he is going to ground to short. Let's see if Anderson can make that play. Let's hope he can. No, he cannot. It's an E6. And so Larry Herndon is the batter, and Larry Herndon is going to go deep for a three-run home run, and Robbie Ray's getting his ass handed to him. In a big royal way. So, yeah, it's going to be 4 nothing here. Uh, or 4 to 1. 4 to 1. And uh, Bellinger's up. Bad card and all, and he gets a single. And that brings up Sweet Lou Whitaker. And I'm going to try to throw out the main man, and he, we don't do it. And there's a pop out. So it's 4 to 1. Whitaker's going to pop out to end the Detroit first inning. Worst team in our division, and we're having problems with them. In fact, the last game we were losing going into like the eighth inning or something, or maybe the ninth. But um, yeah, we've got Doug DeSensei leading off here with a fly ball. One down, and Fisky is up. Fisk is going to line out to first. You know, we had a day off before this series. There was only one game, and it didn't involve us. And then I sat Fisk, so Fisk has been well rested, and yet it doesn't help. And so Narum, the pitcher, is up, and he's going to fly out as we are back in the field. So he's going to fly out. He's the first batter. He's gone, and uh, Alan Trammell, their leadoff batter, he walks again. Yeah, he, I guess he wants no part of Trammell, and uh, Trammell steals second. And that's going to be a ground ball B. And that'll hold Trammell at second. There is two down. And Ron Santo is the batter. And he's going to pop out. Now, like I said, they gave us problems in the first game, too. The first game of this series. Uh, George Wright is the batter. He's our center fielder. And he is not going to get a home run on that. So that's going to be a fly ball. We really could have used a home run there. That brings up Robbie Ray. I'm going to let him keep going. So he's going to ground out. And Timmy Anderson, TA7, is going to strike out. So we are um, still losing 4-1. to one And we go out back out to the field. And that's going to be a ground ball C plus injury for Parrish. And uh, he's got to sit out one day, so they're going to need another catcher. And Armas comes up to the plate. And he's going to ground out. And that brings up Larry Herndon. And Larry Herndon is going to ground out. So Ray has uh, he's gathered himself, but, I mean, we're down by three runs with him gather having gathered himself. And Oliva is going to ground out, and that brings up Alonzo. Alonzo hits a ground ball at the first baseman. Let's see if he can work his way on with that. No. And Ogilvy is the batter. And Ogilvy is going to fly out to center field to Bellinger. So we get no runs there. We go to the bottom of the fourth. We're still down 4-1. Still in this game, though. Bellinger is going to hit a fly ball to center field. Wright makes the play, and Whitaker is up. And Whitaker's going to ground out. And that brings up Narum, the pitcher. He, this should be an easy out, and it is. He strikes out Narum. Ray does. And so DeSensei is up at the plate. We're down by three. We've got to get base runners is really what we've got to do here. And, uh, I mean, i got a lot of power hitters, but not a lot of guys to, that are great at getting on base. And Fisk is one of those. He's actually hitting only 204 for the season and now lower than that. And White is going to hit a ground ball. and He'll um, he'll get on. He works his way on. So there was an error there by Santo, of all people. And Wright is up. And Wright's going to hit a single. Now this forces a tough decision on my part because Ray is the batter. I'm going to send for the extra base, though. And, yeah, he threw him out. God, and that happened in the first game, too. I had a I had a 70% uh, chance of trying to stretch um, 
uh, trying to on the base pads, getting uh, trying to stretch to the next base, and and he threw me out there too in that game too. So maybe that's a good sign. But Lee Thomas is up. That's going to be a catcher card X back to Fisk, and Santo is the batter, and uh, he's going to hit the ball at White. White should make this play. He is an E20, but he's a second base one, and he does. So with Ray leading off here in the sixth, I am going to pinch hit. Um, and we're going to pinch hit Griffey. Ken Griffey Sr. is going to pinch hit. And he's going to hit a fly ball. So that idea didn't work real well. We still got out. Tim Anderson's up. And Tim Anderson's going to hit a single. So we got a man aboard with one down and Oliva up. And that's going to be a double. This is what we're talking about. We got to start a little rally here. Got to get some things going off this Narum guy who I never even heard of. And uh, I'm not going to try to stretch that. We'll just take the runners at second and third with Alonzo up. Let's see if they walk him. They don't. But they do hit him with a pitch. And that loads the bases with only one down and Ogilvy up. Now, a home run here I wouldn't mind, but he pops out the first base. So he really doesn't get me that. And uh, Desense up. Desense with a lot of power, but he's actually going to ground out and possibly be injured here. And... Uh, yeah, he shook it off. Well, what we can't shake off is the fact you didn't get any runs. Betty, bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? Everyone! So the last batter was DeSense. Griffey can't play third, so I am going to just bring in Bob Locker to pitch in Griffey's spot. And... Uh, in the pitcher spot as a, as a whole, and that's going to be a fly ball by Kyle Hashiokioka. And he is uh, coming on for Lance Parrish, I would assume. And so there's one down with Armas up, and Armas is going to be out on a ground out, and Larry Herndon is going to fly out. So Bob Locker comes out and he shuts the locker door. But uh, we've got some work to do. We've got Fisk up at the plate and uh, not getting on. He's going to line out the third. White is up and White is going to ground out. We're not just we're just not having a good day here. We only scored one run and only and on four hits. And uh, George Wright works a single. I'm just going to let Locker hit. I'm just going to. I mean. We weren't. I need to. I need to have him eat the innings, and it's not like we're going to start a rally with a man at first and two down. Bellinger's out, and Whitaker is up, and Whitaker's going to walk. So Bob Locker walks Whitaker. Now, of course, Bob Locker also is having a pretty good year for us. Twenty-six innings, a three forty-six earned run average. I think they bunted him over, so there's two down. And that single is luckily a split single, so the runner has to stop at third, and Lee Thomas is up, and he's going to strike out. So we go to the top of the eight. We're down by three, and uh, that is not going to help us. It's a line out. Line out for T.A. Oliva is up. Tony Oliva, he's going to pop out first. We're just not doing anything. I mean... I don't know. We I don't know why we can't touch this guy. He's got a four earned run. All right, all right. Here we go. Alonzo with a jack hits one deep out of here. So it's four to two. We're down by two now, and um, and then Ogilvy walks. Desense would be nice if we could hit a homer, but he brings in a new guy. He brings in Dave Goltz, and Dave and. Uh, He's going to hit the ball to second, and he's out. So we are going to keep Locker out there. He did, didn't say he's tired, and he worked the fly ball to the center fielder. Of course, this was, you know, in Bob Locker's day, that was back in the day when relief pitchers pitched three or four innings. Um, and then there's a fly ball to Oliva and Tony Armas. 
and he's going to hit the ball at Desensei. Hopefully Desensei makes this play, and he does. So we got Fisk facing Goltz here in the top of the ninth. I'm down by two. I got to have base runners and runs. We got a single out of Fisk. Thank you, Mr. Fisk. Frank White up. He's one of our better hitters, but he brings in Steve Hamilton. Now, he brought him in last game, too, and there's going to be a hitting by pitch and injury. Puts a man on, but he's got to sit out three days. So I'm going to have Dave Collins go in and run for him because he's a good runner. That's why. Um, and then uh, George Wright is the batter, and he's going to strike out. So we got two down, or one down with two on. Now we are going to pinch hit for Locker. Um, he is a lefty who's a 2R. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to pinch hit Birdie here. John Birdie is pinch hitting. And he's going to hit a ground ball into a double play. And end the game. All right, well, we lost that 4-2. to two. Close game against the worst team in our division. And uh, so let's, let's take a look at what the standings look like after that. League stats, you've got us at 17-22. And 22. and, uh, ten and a half back with Detroit, 11 back. So we're only a half game in front of Detroit. They're 17-23. and 23. And now the worst team in our division is Minnesota, but it looks like we're vying for that position ourselves. Anyway, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.